Good morning. Today we're starting the new book, Frog and Toad Are Friends. This is part of the Frog and Toad series by Arnold Lobel. And on the cover of this, you can see there's Toad reading a book and Frog is listening. And you can see that that um, silver medal, that is the Caldecott Honor Book, which is means that this book is a uh, won a prize for being a very good children's literature. Okay, so again, remember Frog and Toad. These are chapter books. So there's the table of contents. We're going to read a couple stories. It tells what pages the stories start. The first story we're going to read today is called Spring, and that starts on page four. So they're reading the book and listening. Okay. Spring. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. There was no answer. Toad, Toad, shouted Frog, wake up, it is spring. Bah, said a voice from inside the house. Toad, Toad, cried Frog. The sun is shining, the snow is melting. Wake up. I am not here, said the voice. Frog walked into the house. It was dark. All the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you, called Frog. Go away, said the voice from a corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled all the covers over his head. Frog pushed Toad out of bed. He pushed him out of the house and onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I cannot see anything. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April, and it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through meadows and run through the woods and swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here on the front porch and count the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I am going back to bed. Funny. That's how I feel in the mornings. I don't like to get up in the mornings. All right. Toad went back into the house. He got into the bed and pulled the covers over his head again. But Toad, cried F Frog, you will miss all the fun. Listen, said Toad, how long have I been asleep? You have been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad, a little more sleep will not hurt me. Come back again and wake me up at about half past May. Good night, Frog. But Toad, said Frog, I will be lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Frog tore off the November page. He tore off the December page and the January page and the March page. He came to the April page. Frog tore off the April page too. Then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad, Toad, wake up. It is May now. What? said Toad. Can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog, look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page was on top. Why, it is May, said Toad as he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to see how the world was looking in the spring. Yay. Frog tricked him. He wanted him to get up and play, so he moved the calendar ahead. And they could go outside and be friends. All right. The next book is one that we're going to read today. is called The Story. 
One day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Toad said, Frog, you are looking quite green. But I always look green, said Frog. I am a frog. Today you look very green, even for a frog, said Toad. Get into my bed and rest. Toad made Frog a cup of hot tea. Frog drank the tea, and then he said, Tell me a story while I am resting. All right, said Toad. Let me think of a story to tell you. Toad thought and thought, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. I will go out on the front porch and walk up and down, said Toad. Perhaps that will help me to think of a story. Toad walked up and down on the porch for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad went into the house and stood on his head. Why are you standing on your head? asked Frog. I hope that if I stand on my head, it will help me to think of a Tory story, said Toad. Frog's like, what are you doing? Toad stood on his head for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad poured a glass of water over his head. Why are you pouring water over your head? asked Frog. I hope that if I pour water over my head, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad poured many glasses of water over his head, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad began to bang his head against the wall. Why are you banging your head against the wall, says Frog. I hope that if I bang my head against the wall hard enough, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. That is never a good idea. That never helps you think of anything. It just makes your head hurt. I am feeling much better now, Toad, said Frog. I do not think I need a story anymore. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it, said Toad, because now I feel terrible. Frog, Frog said, would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Yes, said Toad, if you know one. Once upon a time, said Frog, there were two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend the toad to tell him a story. The toad could not think of a story. He walked up and down on the porch, but he could not think of a story. He stood on his head, but he could not think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he could not think of a story. He banged his head against the wall, but he could not think of a story. Then Toad did not feel well, so and the frog was feeling better. So the toad went to bed, and the frog got up and told him a story. The end. How was that, Toad? said Frog. But Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. And all right, we'll leave that story for tomorrow. All right, I hope that you have a great day and you can get out and enjoy some nice sunshine and some beautiful grass.